Hello, dear students. My name is Mr. Abidjouf. I'm going to present you the medical conversation class. Uh, we have for this chapter, we have two subtitles. The first is at the doctors, and the second is at the pharmacy. For the first, uh, before entering the class, we have the description of the course. Uh, this English course aims at preparing students to professional life through acquisition of knowledge and skills that allow them to communicate. For that purpose, the course is based on providing students with skills which allow them to use general English and ESP, meaning English for specific purposes. Uh, coming to the prerequisites, uh, st students should have completed L1 English course. Now coming to objectives, this course aims at providing students with the necessary skills to express themselves in English through conversations, opinions, and business levels. ESP courses will allow students to understand and use the appropriate lexical items and expressions related to their fields of stuff. Now we have also to underline the specific objectives of this course. By the end of this course, students should be able to understand and practice medical conversations. Now, for the first title, other doctors, we present a dialogue through which you can have a conversation between two persons, meaning a health agent that can be a doctor, for example, and the other one that can be a, a patient. Uh, now for the presentation of the dialogue, you have to read uh, to read it between a patient and her doctor or his doctor as they discuss joint pain during an appointment. And you have to practice the dialogue with a friend so you can feel more confident uh, the next time you visit a doctor. So if you master this dialogue for sure once in a hospital, once face-to-face uh, -face with a doctor, you will get the necessary skills to communicate with him. And this following, uh, as I said, it should be very useful for you. You have patient, for example, and doctor. For a patient, uh, simply, good morning, Dr. Smith. And doctor answer, yes, please come in. Patient, thank you. My name is Dr. Andrews. So, if you want to uh, change the name, uh, you can change it. It's, it's just an example. So you can take you can take a more familiar name. So following, doctor may ask you this question. What have you come in for today, Mr. Andrews? And you have to uh, to give to, ex to explain uh, the reason why you visit the doctor. So the patient can say, "I've been having some pain in my joints, especially the knees." You see, you have to be exact because the first meeting with the doctor can be considered as the, the first uh, consultation. So you should be clear. Uh, you should know the naming of all diseases. So once uh, you, you speak with the doctor, you should know exactly how to name your pain in English. So this is an, an opening 
uh, um, an opening uh, uh, that is very important, meaning the naming of all the diseases. Uh, you should do some research to deepen your knowledge concerning how to name all the diseases in English. That is a very important aspect. Following, the doctor may answer, how long have you been having the pain? You should say, I'd say, it started three or four months ago. It's been getting worse recently. For example, you have to know how to express the duration of your disease or of your pain. So, you can see here, I'd say it started three or four months ago. You have here a uh, protected tense, simple past tense. Because you suppose that before you come and see the doctor, you got some pain. So, it is the past. And doctor can answer by saying, are you having any other problems like weakness, fatigue or headaches? You see, it's not only about your specific pain, but as I told you at the beginning, the first meeting with the doctor is your first consultation as a patient. So after giving, after naming your pain, doctor can ask you uh, further questions, uh, meaning if you have other uh, pains. So reason why he says, are you having any other, uh, any other problems like weakness, fatigue, or headaches. So reason why I say you should know how to name all the diseases, all the kind of illnesses that exist. The list is very long, but you may select the most common ones. So with the doctor in a conversation, you should name uh, your pain, whatever uh, may be the pain. So. Uh, answering to the doctor, you can say, well, I have certainly felt under the weather. Uh, now following the dialogue, uh, if, you, if you read until the end, you can see uh, some specific vocabulary, some specific expressions related to the, the hospital or the health middle. So, uh, it is very important to read this dialogue and to read it and to mention uh, some vocabulary as I said it. Uh, for example, you have uh, why, how much physical activity do you get? You have to know also how to name uh, the most common sports, name of sports. It is also very important because there is a link between health and physical aspects. So, this is something mentioned here. Uh, to sum up, uh, with the dialogue, you should know how to make a conversation uh, in the hospital with the doctor. It's not something complicated. You have to get the habit with medical words, with medical expressions, and you can have you can find it here in this dialogue and if you master it, you have the maximum, the necessary words that you need when you are uh, at the hospital and when you are supposed to discuss with a doctor for a consultation. Now, to finish this part, the dialogue in the doctor, we have proposed the keywords. There is an extraction of the dialogue. We have, as I said it, the text is nothing but the pretext to present you uh, the course. So the dialogue is just a pretext. Now, what is more important now is this part, the keywords. These keywords are extracted from the dialogue and you should read one by one uh, the words that you have here, joint pain, knees, weakness, fatigue, headache, as I said it. You have uh, the, all the necessary skills that you need for a medical conversation with a doctor.
Now, the last part is uh, assignment. Uh, after reading your di dialogue, after understanding and exploiting your keywords, you have to exercise yourself. And this is what uh, you have here as a proposition. Uh, you have choose the best answer for his question about the dialogue. Uh, you have to, to exercise yourself referring to the dialogue that you have above. For example, we can take just the first one. What seems to be Mr. Sim's problem? Broken knees, fatigue, joint pain. This is a, a little piece. And understanding is the most important aspect here. Because, yeah, really, vocabulary are very important, but understanding is also very important. Because you can't answer questions in the, in the assignments if you don't have uh, a good understanding of the, the dialogue. So you, you should first understand the dialogue and then uh, you should uh, do easily your exercise. Uh, now for for uh, always the same for the conversation you have a video with a link you have links here uh, adapted from 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 this dialogue so you have the text and you have the, the audio with the video so you can read the text and you can watch also the video you can mix them too reading at the same time and listening that would be very very useful and very good for you for your learning. Now the second and last one is other pharmacy. You have other doctors and other pharmacy. Other doctors first and other pharmacy. Here also you have a presentation of a dialogue through which you may find for sure the necessary words that you need at once in a pharmacy when you need medicines when you need uh, tablets and so on. So a very specific dialogue too. You have to read it and then you have to pick up the keywords specific to the pharmacy. How to, uh, how to ask for medicines, how to ask for uh, some tablets, uh, how to ask for some sours and, uh, and so on. This is something very important that you can find here and you have to read until the end now other pharmacy will finish with also an assignment you have create a dialogue imagine and make a conversation between two persons in the medical field particularly at the pharmacy focus on the vocabulary in the conversation you have just to imagine as it is done uh, with me, you have to imagine your own dialogue uh, with a, a, a pharmacist. And you focus on the, the keywords that you get in, in my dialogue and you, 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 you try to make your own conversation at a pharmacy. Thank you very much for listening.